Today's sentencing hearing was a lot shorter than expected. The Crown called his first witness in the morning a constable with the Regina Police Service, tasked with taking photos at the teen killer's home the day after Hannah Leffler died. The constable went into the teen's bedroom looking for any evidence. He found a bloody pair of jeans and a broken cell phone. But he also described what he saw in the boy's room, which included a number of weapons, knives, samurai swords, pellet guns, and a baseball bat with nails in the end. In the afternoon, a second witness was supposed to be scheduled to testify. That has been pushed back to later in the week. On Tuesday, two psychologists will take the stand. The Crown and Hannah Leffler's family want an adult sentence, life in prison with no chance of parole for 10 years. The defense wants a youth sentence. 10 years in prison with six behind bars. The team could be out in four with time served. The sentencing hearing is scheduled for two weeks. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.